Hello and welcome in this tutorial where we're going to learn how to use functions and switch statements into the Arduino. You can see that in my diagram I have the Arduino Uno, I also have two LEDs and some reg resistor resistors to help me not break these beautiful LEDs. So, which is similar. So, if you need to follow along this project, you need to hook up using two LEDs to 20, 220k uh, ohm resist resistors, and of course, an Arduino Uno. So, now let's jump into the code. But before jumping into the code, we're going to make an example that is like this. We need to turn this LED using functions. And these functions will be called from the switch statements of according to the, the value that the user sent from the serial monitor. So now let's go ahead and do it. So I'm going to declare the first one and put it into, I'm going to say int red. Then I'm going to put it into two because that's where it's hooked up. I'm going to say int blue. I'm going to put it in three. And that's where it's hooked up. The second thing is to define that these are outputs because they produce light, which is an output. Now I'm going to go ahead and say pin, pin, sorry, first we need to specify the baud rate. I'm going to say serial.begin and specify that the baud rate is 9600. 9, now let's do what we went to do, which is specifying that these LEDs are output. So I'm going to say red and then make it an output. Similarly to the blue one, I'm going to say pin mode, pin mode, just like that. And I'm going to say that blue is also an output. All right. So now we need a variable to help us variable to help us store the value from the serial monitor. So now this value, let's call it int and then call it get byte. All right. So we initialize it to zero to get started. Then we need to grab the value from the serial monitor, which is get byte right so remember the main purpose of this video is to learn how to use functions and, st and switch statements so i'm gonna go ahead and say if so i'm saying this because i need to know whether the serial monitor received a value from the user or not so i'm gonna say if serial dot available like that because it's a function is greater than zero this means a user entered something let's now take the get byte and assign it to the value that is entered into the serial monitor I'm gonna say serial dot parse int so I'm saying parse int because here the get byte has an integer now I'm gonna go down here And now we're going to use the switch sta statement. To do that, we're going to say switch and then open and close. So what we are closing, we are opening is a switch block. Now we are reading the get byte because we need the value from received from the user into the serial monitor. So let's say serial we're going to display we're going to say kiss kiss in case the entered value is one we're going to say serial dot print print line and then say received received one all right and now we need to break because that's the syntax for a switch statement. And now we need to go to the case two, maybe where it's two. 
we're gonna say the same I'm gonna copy and paste even though it's something that is not good like that all right and then now I'm gonna say received to so before we start interacting with these LEDs let's first upload these to see if everything works perfect it's gonna take a little time to upload but oops something is wrong and it is saying that blue was not declared ah all right so i need to put b there like that now let's see what happens uploading uploading boom works perfect let's go to the serial monitor let's put one received one let's put two received two yes you can see now this is how to use a switch case now we need to do something a little more cooler we turn these things on using a function to make a function you need to go out of the void loop that's like right here then I'm gonna call the first function void and then I'm gonna call it turn on one turn on one just like that that's how we name it that's how we make create a function and I'm gonna open and close then go inside here that's now where we're gonna put everything to tell it to turn the lens on so I'm gonna say digital right in the function digital right and then say that red because red is the first one and then put it high all right I'm not delaying anything I'm just turning it on all right so I'm gonna need another function I'm gonna do it the same right here which is turn on two which turns on or maybe let's say turn on red red and turn on blue all right just like that now here I'm gonna say turn on and I'll put here blue this is a function now let's copy all these and no, I'm just okay. All right, let's copy them and paste it to make them off now. So now here I'm gonna say turn off, off red. Now I'm putting here off, which is low. I'm gonna go ahead and say turn off blue, and I'm changing this one to low. All right, it's perfect. Now let's maybe do another. No let's just go like this so I'm gonna go ahead and now and say when I say case one let's say that one turns on red all right so we need now to call the function right here instead call the function so we're gonna call the function by of course calling its name turn on red like this I'm gonna copy it and paste it right here just like that which means if we put in one we're turning on the first one now if we put two we're turning on the blue one I'm gonna do it right here paste it add the brackets now I need to add a little more blocks because I'm gonna say if it's now if it's three we are turning off red. Have you seen how we're calling functions? Turn off red. Now when it's full, just like that, we're gonna be turning off the blue one, just like this. So, all right, let's upload and try to test it and see how it works. I'm gonna upload, hopefully it'll work. Let me cross my hands to see if it works. All right, boom, it works. So now let's go to the serial monitor and test. If I put one, do we have the red one on? Yes. If I put two, is the blue one on? Yes. Now if I put on three, do we have the red one off? Of course. Now if I put four, that's right. So one, two, three, and four. Perfect. 
Another little thing we can add here on the use of functions, um, let's maybe make a function that turns them both off. This one and then turn off and then say both. Now here we need to take this one, make it two, and now I'm gonna say red, low. And then we're not gonna make another one that turns off, that turns on both at the same time. So we need to first change here and say hi. And right here we put in hi. And go back to the switch statement. Go back to the switch statement and add a little case statement, which is maybe five which is maybe five, like that. And then we're gonna call turn. So now when we put five, we say turn on both. Sorry, turn on both. And then when it's six, we're turning off both at the, again at the same time, like that. So now, uh, now I'm gonna put six here and change it to Turn off both. All right. Let's go ahead and upload again. Boom. Let's go to the serial monitor. Now I'm putting in five, both on, six, both off, one, red on, two, blue, five, six. Perfect. So, if you do like a little quick review, we're gonna see that to use a switch statement, you need to switch and then switch the value or maybe the variable which you need to condition. Add some cases. This is the value that we're looking for. And of course, making a function, we, we put them outside of the, vo the void loop and the reason why we are using void is because this function does not return anything. Maybe later in later video, we can do a function that receives, receives arguments. That's where we can use another thing like int. So until then, thank you for following this video. And please, if you like, comment and subscribe to this channel for more contents like this and support me. Until then. Peace. God bless.